Yo, what's good everyone? It's Roll Easy here. Welcome back to the channel. We have the solo money glitch that I promised you guys. If you haven't seen my video that I posted previous to this one, I will leave the link down in the description. Make sure to go check out that video. It's very important. It's how to actually prepare to do this solo money glitch, which works both on Xbox One and PS4, all right? Now, big shout out to the founders, NHJ and Mod Beep. Their links will be down in the description. What you're going to need for this glitch, and it's super easy, man, like super easy and quick, probably a dupe every five minutes, maybe less if you get really good at it. But uh, yeah, so you need a BMX bike. You need BMX bikes in the car slots inside the facility. OK, and that's what my last video will show you how to do now. Once you have those BMX bikes in there, that's pretty much all the preparation you need. Uh, you need one BMX per dupe, and I'll show you at the end of this video how to actually get more BMXs completely solo. OK. You also need an LG Retro Custom to actually dupe and no custom plates, okay? You do not need custom plates for this whatsoever. And you need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage, okay? That's very important. So what you wanna go ahead and do is what you see me doing right here. Throw yourself in an invite only session and go ahead and grab your LG Retro Custom that you're duping and you wanna drive it into your bunker. The reason being, we're gonna be putting this in the MOC. So you want this to be the last vehicle stored inside the MOC, all right? Now, once we drive in there and we finally load in, there we go. We're going to go ahead and I'm just going to drive up to the back of the MOC and hit right D-pad. All right, I'm going to hit right D-pad. I think I have an RH8 in there. It doesn't really matter. It's just going to transfer to wherever I got this one from. So I'm going to go ahead and it kicks me out of the vehicle. I'm going to hop back in and drive out and it should put me in that parking spot uh, right there in the bunker. Okay, so once we're in this parking spot right here, you just want to simply hop out of the vehicle. Okay, so just go ahead and get out and you want to go outside on foot. Make sure you're on foot, all right? So go ahead and hit exit bunker at the doors and once we're out of the screen, we should be on foot outside. Now, once we're on foot, what you want to do is you don't want to call out any personal vehicle or anything like that whatsoever. No personal vehicles, all right? You want that vehicle inside the bunker to stay there. So call up a CEO buzzard, all right? Call up a CEO buzzard and you want to make your way over to the facility. I have farmhouse bunker and the windmill uh, facility, so they're fairly close to each other. But once I head, once I fly over to my facility, I'm just gonna go in on foot, all right? So we're coming down the elevator right now and I'm gonna run over to one of my BMX bikes that's in the car slot, okay? You need these BMXs to do this glitch. Now, once we're on the BMX bike, you only wanna tap X or A on Xbox, okay? So X on PlayStation and A on Xbox. Do not press the triggers. If you press right trigger or left trigger, you know, the gas or reverse, it will just spawn you outside and then you have to go set up the uh, retro again in the bunker, okay? So you wanna make sure you don't press those. And you wanna make your way over to the spot where your bed is, okay? And your closet and stuff, pretty much your room, all right? So make your way over here and park at this spot and you should get the right D-pad option. If you don't get the right D-pad option right away like I did, just hop off the vehicle and then hop back on and then you should get the right D-pad. Okay, so what you want to do now is you want to press right D-pad and the gas at the same time. So right D-pad and R2 or RT, okay? So boom, at the same time, press them. You actually should spawn outside with no vehicle. This is what kept happening to me. It works both ways, but this is what kept happening to me. I have no control right now. And then all of a sudden I'm in the facility and I'm actually in a default facility, okay? Because watch, I'm going to get kicked out. So there's actually a way to get into the default facility just like that so it kicks me out right here and then you see kicks me out at another facility it says i no longer have access to that one because it was traded in that's what happens with the bunkers okay so make your way with the buzzard make your way back over to the bunker okay so once you head back over to the bunker we're just going to start loading in there like i said with the last part guys there's two things that can happen what happened to me in the vid in this video and also you just spawn outside on foot and just get back in your buzzard and fly to the uh, bunker okay but if that weird stuff happens you know you're good all right the dupe will still work so go ahead and get into this vehicle and remember i had a glitch and plate on it before and look at it now it just turns into a blank plate that's because of the bmx bikes okay so you want to go ahead and drive. This is your dupe right here. You want to drive your dupe and you want to press right D-pad on the MOC. It's going to ask us to transfer because the original retro that we duped is in there. And now we've put this one in here. The uh, This is the, you know, the dupe that we just made, the first dupe we've made from that original. So now this is fully saved, okay? If you want to rinse and repeat, all you got to do is drive this out and you want to put it in that same parking spot, okay? The same exact one. So put it in the same parking spot, go ahead and head out on foot. 
I would say normally to drive the car in and out of the MOC to make sure it's saved. But with this glitch, you're pretty much ensured that once you hop into that dupe and you put it in the MOC one time and drive it out, it's good to go. All right, you can just keep rinsing, repeating from here. So what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I'm gonna call up a CEO buzzard. Make sure you do not call up like an oppressor or anything like that, all right? You don't want the car in the, in the bunker to despawn. So now I'm back over at the facility. Go ahead and walk in on foot. Just leave your buzzard outside because you're gonna be using it to get back. Okay, so we're spawning down here and I'm gonna run over to another BMX bike that I have. Here we go, I have another one. So I'm just gonna hop onto it. And remember, only tap X on PlayStation and A on Xbox, okay? Do not touch the triggers whatsoever. It can get a little tempting. So I would recommend don't go fast. Go like, you see this speed right here, pretty chill you won't have the temptation to actually press like the brake or anything, okay? So just go at a normal speed and make your way over to the bedroom and go to that same spot where the bed is, okay? This is so we don't have to use the orbital cannon anymore. That's what we were using before. So we have the right D-pad option, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm just gonna tap right D-pad and RT or R2 at the same exact time, and this weird glitched out thing is gonna happen where I'm outside on foot, and it's forcing me to walk into the facility, and then all of a sudden I'm in the room, and then check it out and i was i was about to grab a gun like i was literally about to pull out a gun right here that's how i know i was in a default bunker or a default facility and then i got kicked out okay so like oh or like it did in the previous time it's gonna spawn me over here at this random default uh facility and I have to make my way back to the bunker. Remember, fly there with a buzzer. Do not call out any sort of oppressor or anything that you like to drive that is a personal vehicle, okay? There are there are some cars, if you don't have a buzzer, there are some cars in the CEO menu that you can also use. And even if you don't own them, you can like kind of purchase, like one-time little purchase uh, and do that if you wanna use that, okay? But just make sure you don't call out any personal vehicles. Now, as you can see right here, here is the LG Retro Custom that we duped. The plate did change, but it went from one blank plate to another so that's okay you want to just go ahead and take your dupe go to the moc hit right d-pad you should get the transfer alert because the first dupe we made was in there and you drive it in there and it's good to go it is saved okay so that's the dupe glitch as you can see back to back and it did not take long whatsoever right yeah i cut a few parts but it's pretty much four to five minutes each dupe okay and it's only because you have to ride that bmx bike that takes a little bit longer than the old method but um yeah that's pretty much the dupe glitch and you just keep doing this over and over again now what i'm going to show you right now is actually and i put it in my last video but i wanted to kind of throw it into this one just so you guys don't have to go back and forth i want you to start on that first video realize what you need for the glitch prepare do what you got to do and then boom you can jump into this one and never have to go back so this is how you get more bmx bikes solo okay into car slots so you see if i call my mechanic see how that that apartment that very first apartment suite three right there that's the one that becomes glitched okay or you know part of the glitch i should say that's the one that you want full of rh8s okay or vehicles to just dupe over now once i'm over here you want to go ahead and go into the garage open up your phone and you want to go ahead and order up another bmx bike make sure you always have an rh8 in slot one very important all right rh8 in slot one because we will be riding over that okay so go ahead and go to the website pedal and metal i think is what it's called uh under travel and transport there we go pedal and metal you want to go ahead and just buy the regular bmx bike the first one hit order and remember in the last video we glitched out that two car garage so you want to make sure you click on sonora way that two car garage that we glitched out first so click on that once you've done that you should get, get a glitched out vehicle selection menu it's going to look like that just go ahead and accept it press x or a once again you're going to get a full alert once you get that full alert accept it as well and you will be replacing that and check it out we just bought a bmx bike in slot one okay so that's why slot one is empty now we just overwrote that rh8 all right so make sure you have it set up like this we did all this in the last video you need to go check that out if you haven't already okay so now if you want to if i wanted to just set up i can pretty much fill up this whole garage with bmx bikes just like this so you see i put another rh8 in slot one now all i got to do is go to that same website and i got to purchase another just regular stock bmx into that same place so make sure you go to the two car garage select the two car garage and then select x or a again and it will go into this garage because this is the first one on the mechanics list this is what gets glitched out these spots 
Okay, so there we go. I have two more BMX bikes there. I just have to wait for them to get delivered. And then to put them in the actual facility, all I got to do is call up a, a car from the facility, drive it into this garage and transfer. Okay, that's it. And that's how you get, you just transfer the BMX bikes with cars from the facility. All right, that's all you got to do. And you can keep doing the solo glitch over and over and over again. All right. Now, I will include that a lot of times and a lot of people, and I've reported this too, when you change sessions, these retros lose all the main upgrades. It keeps the Bennys upgrade, so it's still worth a half a million dollars, but you do lose a little bit of profit with this glitch, which is why I don't approve of the BMX most of the time. But it is a solo money glitch, and you guys asked for it. All right, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.